Hello everyone. Welcome to Robotronics channel. Let me start by asking you a question. Is your cell phone receiving very poor network signal? Are you thinking to invest huge money on new smartphone just because you are fed up with very poor network reception? Well, don't. Because in this video I will show you how you can connect a low cost external antenna to your cell phone to increase network signal gain and save huge amount of money. So watch till the end. Let me tell you the possible reasons for less network signal on cell phone. First reason may be that your location is very far from the cellular tower. Another reason may be that you are surrounded by more buildings, trees, metals, walls, etc. Because these things absorbs the signal or radiation. Poor signal may also result from the software update that your cell phone received. One possible reason may be due to the hardware in the cell phone that is responsible for the automatic gain control or the antenna itself. This might have lost their power to function properly. There may be other possible reasons also. So to solve all these problems, we will connect external antenna. I have this Moto E3 Power 4G smartphone. As you can see, this phone is receiving very poor network signal. It's almost no signal in both the SIM cards. So I will connect an external antenna to this cell phone. Now. Let's disassemble the cell phone and see the inbuilt antennas. Take out the back cover, battery and sims. Unscrew the upper plastic case. Let me tell you that there are many antennas in a cell phone like two or more for cellular communication, one for GPS, one for Wi-Fi, one for Bluetooth. The two antennas on the left side that I am pointing at are used for cellular communications. I cannot show a close-up video of the antennas with my camera. So let's see an animated video of this antenna. You can see two golden color cylindrical shapes on the left side of the motherboard. These are the antennas. The actual antenna is on the inner walls of the black cylindrical plastic that is inside the outer shell of the antenna. The outer golden casing is used to redirect the signal. This is a simple copper wire. It is generally coated with an insulating paint. So we have to remove this paint at one end so that the copper wire can touch the antennas. Let us see an animation to understand how we are going to connect the external antenna. I have used a helical antenna for demonstration. The end of copper wire that we cleaned by scratching will be inserted at the central hole of this inbuilt antenna. Let's see by some other angle. One very important thing to note that the circumference of the copper wire should be nearly same as the circumference of the central hole of the inbuilt antenna. Otherwise the copper wire will not get in touch with the actual antenna and will not work. Now let's check that inserting external antenna on which of the two inbuilt antennas increases the signal. Connecting it to upper antenna. So signal didn't increase. Now let's check on second antenna. See the signal is increasing. It's full signal. See it's still full signal. So now we know that the lower antenna is the one we need. Signal didn't increase in both the antennas because one might be being used for transmitting and other for receiving or there is at least one antenna used only for receiving signal which here is lower one. Now to use this antenna we have to make a hole in the outer plastic casing just directly above the lower inbuilt antenna so that we can insert external antenna directly from the outside. Now let's close the motherboard casing and screw it tightly. We can see the antenna hole directly from the outside. Let's switch on the cell phone. Now let's make the helical antenna. I am using this pen to wound the copper wire around it to form helix of 2 to 3 turns. To reduce the height of the helix, press it gently and stretch it towards sidewards. 
Let's see if it still works. The signal is increasing and became full and it's full signal. So it's working. We cannot mount this antenna forever because its overall height is much greater. So I will bend it at the starting end at 90 degrees so that it fits inside the cell phone. Let's see if it still works. It's working. Put some tape to hold it tightly. It's showing full signal. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. More number of likes, comments and new subscribers will motivate me to explore more on this topic and make videos like this. In the next video, I will talk about the engineering analysis of this antenna, its pros, its cons, what else we can do to improve the design, structure of the antenna. So make sure you subscribe to this channel to see those videos at the earliest. So let's meet in the next video. Till then, be safe and keep innovating.